Start Fluent in the project uh, by double clicking on Solution in the project page. And in Fluent, make sure that the reference density is set to 1 and the reference velocity is set to 1. The skin friction is not transferred by default to CFD post. So what we need to do is go to File, Data File Quantities, and select Skin Friction Coefficient as an additional quantity that will be transferred to CFD post. These are the standard quantities that are transferred to CFD post, and now we also have the skin friction to that. Click OK. If I come back to the project page, you see that no refresh has been enabled. So um, I, will re I will force a refresh by going to Fluent and running one iteration. And in this case, I just need to hit Calculate. And I'll say OK there. And it will stop after one iteration because it's converged. Now when I go back to the project page, I see that a refresh has been enabled. So I'll right click and say refresh. And when CFD post refreshes, it will have the new data in from Fluent and it should have the skin friction also. Then it did that refresh. So start CFD post if you don't already have it by double clicking on results. And in CFD post, uh, we have already created the pipe wall. So we'll plot the skin friction along the pipe wall. I will say um, chart. I'll call this chart CF. And um, under data series, the location will be pipe wall. Under x axis, the horizontal axis, it's the axial distance, which is x. And along the vertical axis, we want to plot. The, the skin friction and you should see that appearing now and if you don't see that appearing you should be you should be able to go in here and see that entire list of variables available and skin friction coefficient should appear and say apply and you can see that um, in the fully developed region it's a little bit below point one six and as we refine the mesh we would hope that you know in the fully developed region this would move to point one six to get a smoother plot you can increase the number of samples along the location in this case pipe wall so if you go to pipe wall and double click on it and you see your you know, editing pipe wall, and you can increase the number of samples to 100, like I've done, the default is 10. And if you click Apply, then your chart is updated with the um, increased number of samples.